so we're recording now I've got my home my screen up uh, just let me know if you can hear me and it can also see my screen so just in the chat box in zoom in more there's uh, if you can't see it there's just chat and type in there and just uh, yeah just let me know if you can uh, can hear me or not that'd be fantastic can hear and see brilliant excellent fantastic all right so we wait a couple more minutes until uh, others arrive we're in uh, listen only mode uh, tonight but you can certainly type your questions in the chat so uh, if you've uh, got them just uh, fire them away and then what I'll do is uh, I'll answer as many as I can as we go through the training but I'll also answer them all at the end anything that's left and also there's some people that can't make it tonight so I'm recording this so uh, for those that are watching it in uh, record mode um, you can uh, also through BLG boost I'll show later where you can ask me specific questions on this because we've got quite a lot of content to go through in the next hour and I'll uh, pump through it as, uh, as quick as I can to ultimately give you guys back more time so I know it's a little ironic that I'm asking you to spend an hour of your time to get a lot more back but uh, that's the whole concept so uh, what I'll do is uh, we'll make a start and then if the others uh, come in uh, so be it so uh, welcome to the first as I said BLG boost how to get more with less and it's really about protecting your number one asset which is time so if you're a corporate escaping and struggle with getting everything done it's not your fault there is so much to do with limited time you can feel overwhelmed it's okay and certainly this time of the year coming back off holidays uh, in January uh, particularly in Australia it's uh, very hard to get back into work so if you're feeling uh, overwhelmed it's okay so my goal is to save you two hours a day by implementing three actions from this training so what I'll do is just go through some challenges and then ask you in the chat to actually add some of the challenges that you've got to make sure that we overcome as many of those as we can in tonight's training so the first one I constantly see and uh, face myself uh, you are you are busy but you don't get the most important things done and I won't call out any names but I was on a call with someone on the webinar today and uh, that was a key thing they said you know I chase a lot of shiny objects and uh, I feel like I'm getting a lot of stuff done but it's not always the right stuff that I'm doing uh, the second is uh, get easily distracted by shiny objects and I think in today's world it's never been easier to get distracted so uh, I know that's a challenge that we all face the third thing is a struggle with technology so uh, I must admit I'm a fairly early adopter I absolutely love my technology but I know a lot of the boost community do struggle with adopting new technology and what I want to do tonight is uh, just show you some technology that's really easy to use and look it's getting simpler uh, to use I remember the old you know PC days in corporate when uh, nothing worked and every time there was an update it uh, it didn't work but now um, you know more and more we're using our mobile phones with I can't speak for Android but certainly for iOS there's hardly ever a glitch uh, Apple do a brilliant job of that and then the fourth is um, being super person syndrome so thinking that we can do it all and often that is led by the fact that we don't have enough cash to pay others to do it so we think we've got to do it all ourselves and what I want to do is a lot of the strategies that will get you back time will allow you to sell more and ultimately if you sell more then you can get more people on and you can uh, can um, save some time there so what I'd love you to do is uh, just type in the chat uh, the key struggles you're having with time at the moment if they weren't one of those four challenges so um, yeah just type in the chat and uh, I'll uh, I'll just wait to to it comes in I know sometimes I can't see when you're typing so it looks like nothing's happening and I know you probably furthering away but look they're the you know they're the common challenges that I see but everybody that comes into BLG boost to begin with um, really struggles with how to maximize time and that's why this is the first of the training that we're doing and also personal productivity 
is uh, very much, you know, it's the number one driver, um, rapid growth drivers. And it's for that very reason that if you can protect your time, it's the, it's the best thing. So sh shiny objects are confusing and, uh, sorry, shiny objects are a continuing problem, e.g. E Facebook. Uh, definitely all four, I would add lack of focus, which is probably a symptom of four, yes. Um, totally agree. And I think if you, um, when I show some of the default diary actions later on, you'll see um, that you've really got to get the big rocks in. So that old Covey uh, video, you can see it on YouTube, but it's really about getting the big rocks in first and then you set the pebbles. Often what we do is sort of fill it a time with uh, pebbles and then don't get to the big rocks. Brilliant. So uh, as I said, just if you've just joined us, just uh, type in the chat and uh, we'll, I will answer that on, you know, during and also at the end. So uh, the key thing here is not a one size fits all solution. So uh, I'm not here to say you have to do it exactly like me. And uh, in a moment, I'll talk about brain preferences. But uh, what I want to do is present my top tips and then you can apply what works. And uh, I mentioned uh, in the weekly update around the Optimize course, which is uh, a guy called Ari Mizell. Uh, he's sort of the guru at the moment on productivity globally. And I looked at some of his stuff. So I've incorporated some of that. It was good to see that we we're very aligned with a lot of the things. And then also I've picked up my own tips from working with Franklin Covey and also learning from a lot of the uh, BLG Boost members myself. Uh, so let's go into it. So tip number one is uh, know thyself. And uh, this is uh, the disc is what we use, but there's a whole lot of uh, different um, profiles that you can use. Uh, Herman Brain Dominance, um, there's Strength Finder, there's a whole lot. But we use disc and one of the key reasons I use it is because it's free. So I think it's a pretty good tool. And this is actually my profile. And um, you can see there that I'm a moderate D, I'm a extremely high I, um, you know, low S and, uh, and C is about similar. And effectively what that means is that I'm really not great with detail. So, uh, so for me, when I'm thinking about how do I use my time and how do I delegate to others, I've really got to realize that that's my profile. And particularly when I work with a high S and a high C, that I'm gonna probably conflict with them to begin with because I just want short, sharp answers and I do wanna involve you, but I you know, really don't want the detail at all. So I think knowing your style and how what your natural preference is can really help you uh, work with um, other, whether it's clients or whether your uh, team, et cetera. So uh, certainly, um, you know, I uh, recommend that you take something like this. And for most of the BLG Titans, I've already done it, but I think it's uh, fantastic. Uh, so uh, someone says they're a high uh, DI uh, in my profile. So yes, um, I can, uh, I, I am that person. So uh, what you can do is just go to, uh, to this uh, site by Tony Robbins. So those that are, are watching it uh, on replay, you can uh, just pause these, copy it or write it down. Uh, I don't know what's going to be the easiest. And in the chat box, what I'll do is I'll just copy them in. And if you want to take them now, you uh, certainly can, the ones that are applicable to you. But just go and do it. It's free. Go and get all your team done. And it's amazing uh, how much you can learn from doing that. So that's tip number one. Tip number two is uh, know your why. So you know yourself, it's about your why. So where are you uh, headed? And I won't spend a lot of time on this slide other than to say that I read uh, my daily reflection, I call it, every day. And in that, it's got my life goals, my mission statement, etc. You can read there on the screen. But it just really makes sure that I'm focused on the most important things because it's so easy to fill your day with all those little pebbles. So what I do is make sure that every morning I meditate, Straight after that, I read this because I want to make sure that I'm spending my time on the most important activities. And those activities will differ for everyone. So I'm not saying your activities will be the same, but at least the structure helps you think of it. And I also look at, um, in particular, my key learnings. I've got a tendency, and you'll probably get that from this uh, training, that I tend to talk too much. So one of the key things I do is keep things through two minutes. 
So if you're going to talk to someone, don't talk longer than two minutes. Now, I will default and forget about that. But if I read this every day, it just reminds me nicely to do that and also uh, birthdays, etc. cetera. So um, it's, a, it's a great format and it's something that really keeps me uh, aligned with my true north. You know, why do I really do things? And uh, that's a lot of that I took from uh, Franklin Covey. So you can get the template. And uh, once again, that's the, uh, I'll just drop it in the chat. So uh, that's the template where you can go and, and get that. And uh, it's pretty um, plain, but you can uh, just fill it in your, yourself. And if you ever want to see mine or get a, a further explanation, you can certainly ask me in the direct coaching and I'll, uh, I'll come back to you. Tip number three is uh, quiet in your mind. And I sort of let the cat out of the bag before, but it's all around, for me, is around meditation. So uh, I, this has probably made the most significant change to my business is me every morning, set the alarm, I get up at six, I go and meditate for 10 minutes and I, it's had a huge positive impact on, on my performance. Now, um, everyone does uh, meditation in a different way. So uh, for me, I like guided meditation. So that's why I really love the Headspace app. And uh, it's 10 minutes, it's guided. And uh, I often, you know, re-listen to the same packs all the time. But uh, it's been hugely uh, successful for me, uh, certainly when I've been building the house of late where it's been incredibly stressful at times, uh, meditation has really helped me. Uh, so you can go and trial Headspace. Um, I won't copy this in because it's uh, fairly self-explanatory. It's just their home site, but headspace.com. And I think that's a uh, fantastic tool. Uh, next is uh, extra pair of hands. And who doesn't need an extra pair of hands? And I did a, a podcast interview today for a, a guy that set up a community for stroke victims, uh, which is brilliant niche. And uh, I just said, look, the most important, he said, what's one tool or tip you can give? And I said, just, you know, get yourself a virtual assistant. So I know that a few on this call have got virtual assistants, a few watching it definitely have. And uh, I think it's uh, just crit, uh, crit, um, sorry, uh, really important to, to get it. So I always look at the core four, so uh, email. So if you can get your VA completely triage your email so you don't read it, I don't look at my inbox at all, uh, which is uh, absolutely brilliant. Uh, second is around your calendar. So I make sure that we've got a calendar booking system, which I'll show you a bit later, but we also, um, all the nuances, my uh, VA managers, all my tasks. So uh, I'll show you what I use later, but I, I, I a lot of voice to task, so I don't type anymore. I mainly talk, and uh, you know, as soon as something pops in my head, bang, straight to my VA, uh, and it's done. And I think with voice recognition, it's going to get better and better. I was actually driving in the car before and wanted to know where to go somewhere. Just Google. Um, now I just said exactly where I wanted to go, and it came in. So you, uh, it's going to get better and better from um, a people perspective, but also AI will improve. And if you've got the disciplines in place, it's going to be easier to swap from a uh, person to uh, to artificial intelligence because you're used to that behavior and then the fourth is sales and marketing admin so there's i think for a lot of clients and i know for myself there's probably at least 30 percent sitting on the table from not following up and if you have a va that follows up does the pre and post that can make a, a massive difference so uh, i thoroughly recommend a va and my thoughts uh, are pretty simple it's just three d's so uh when you first get something, just uh, does this ever need to, to do it? Because I think no is the most powerful word. So if you don't need to do it, just delete it. If you do need to deal with it, deal with it there and then. So if you can try to do something in two minutes, just kill it. And then the last one is delegate that to your VA. And um, later on, I'll just show you how you can uh, plan your master task list as well. So uh, the action here is... Uh, I'll put this link in and this is just a booking link to uh, a VA company that we use and recommend. Uh, they're fantastic, but also in Boost, if you go under Virtual Assistant in the supplier app, you'll see some other great uh, providers. But I thoroughly recommend if you haven't got a VA that uh, it should be high on your priority list uh, when you hit a certain cash um, or revenue amount to get to that. Uh, tip number five is uh, block your time. So this is a really obvious one. I won't spend too much time, but I'm just religious on doing this. So I sit down and I work for 30 minutes timed and I really force and run the clock to get things done within the 30 minutes. And then I basically have a five minute break. So it's uh, 
that simple. It's just an app, which is on my on my phone. It's free. It doesn't cost me anything, but it's just the discipline of doing it. I know a lot of uh, BLG type members that are listening to this uh, have heard me bang on it onto it for a long time that you know for me it's made a massive difference to my focus is just doing one task at a time for 30 minutes if i can do three blocks a day i know that i'm going to have a really productive day so uh the key action here is just to start one 30 minute session today or because the time zone uh, for some of you it may be uh, tomorrow uh, just as i'm going through these tips if you've got questions uh, just type them in the chat as you're going if you're watching it live and uh, also if you're watching a replay of this and you've got questions you can uh, just type in the blg boost direct coaching and you can uh, ask me those questions so uh, we've got uh, tip number six is track your time so when i block it the other thing i do is track it so you can see on my screen where uh, i track it it's a little bit hard but what i do and and, and uh, this is one of the things you can pin a tab um, uh, oh, sorry. So the links, someone saying that the links aren't there, that might be because I'm only sending it to panelists. Uh, so, so what we'll do, instead of sending, cutting each one in now, what I'll do is get an email sent to all of you with all the links and also the, the file. I think that's going to probably be best. Uh, so apologies for that. Uh, and I've now got the chat where I, it, instead of going just to panelists, it goes to panelists and attendees. So as far as the uh, t um, time tracking, so uh, this is my today. I haven't finished it, but I'll basically have my key clients and then I'll have everywhere I've spent my time. And if I look last week as an example, I've got everywhere I spent time. So I worked 50 hours uh, last week and I can see that my number one activity was uh, Titans. So I spent 11% on Titans. And you can see where I spent my time. The uh, actually uh, personal projects was the highest because I was still finishing off some house stuff, uh, and I yeah spent you know five hours doing that on uh, last Friday. But the oops, uh, but probably the the glaring obvious one here is that I only spent five percent of my time doing new business, and I really would love to uh, get some more clients on board. So. Uh, you know, that really helps me to say, look, hey, you've got to spend your time better on, on that. And the one that I really want to watch is uh, email and Asana tasks, trying to get that down. So Asana's at 9%. So if I'm doing more tasks and I'm doing new business, you can tell what that's going to do with, uh, with my revenue. So, uh, so that uh, really simple spreadsheet and uh, it's made a massive difference. So you can download it. Uh, as I said, I'll send you all these links post. But that's the uh, the link to the time. So tip number seven is master task list. So when I facilitated for Franklin Covey, the number one thing the top neuroscientist said is don't use your memory. The more you use your memory, the more you strain it and the more difficult it is. And in our lives, we, we're just trying to remember so much because we get bombarded with so much information. So uh, the tip here is just to use one master task list. So uh, I've narrowed it all down to uh, just Asana. That's what I use. It doesn't matter what you use whether it, you know, some digital form of uh, master task list is, is much better. But I have all my personal, all my work, everything all in one. And then I just basically sort uh, each day. And uh, instead of writing tasks in calendar, I, I really don't recommend that, or the neuroscientists didn't recommend that. Just block time. So you might block an hour or two hours to work on tasks, but you come here and you actually work on the tasks that are here and what you can do is prioritize them so if you know whatever's more important each morning i go in and i actually reprioritize what i got to do so i've never got to think what have i got to do next if i ever get a break during the day i just go straight to my master task list and it's there waiting for me so uh and uh and what i do to sort of create that master task list is similar from before i eliminate i automate and uh, I've been having huge success with uh, Zapier, which I'll talk uh, about uh, in a moment. And uh, then I delegate and then what's left, I do. So um, even if you're thinking about how do I create this master task list and do like a bit of a spring clean, like just get rid of stuff that you're never going to do anyway, you put it all on a spreadsheet, you go through those four buckets and then whatever's left in the do, then you put in your master task list rather than dumping it all in at once. 
So the key action here is consolidate into one platform and set up repeating tasks. And uh, my team, uh, for everything they do is a repeating task within uh, Asana, what we use, and therefore they never have to remember to do it. And I think that's the key that you just don't want to use your memory like those top neuroscientists said.